Hi kids! Welcome back to our Bible True Stories. And again, I'm Teacher Des, and I will be your Bible True Storyteller for today. And our story for this morning, this is about baby Moses. Many years later after Joseph and all his brother had died, Pharaoh was the new king of Egypt. He feared the children of Jacob, now called Israelites. The Israelites are growing too strong, he said. If there is a war, they may fight against us and defeat us. To keep this from happening, he made the Israelites into slaves and put Egyptian masters over them. They were forced to work very hard, making bricks and mortar. Pharaoh used bricks to build great cities, but no matter how unkind Egyptian slave masters were or how hard their work became, the Israelites continued to grow in numbers. Pharaoh became angry. He passed a cruel law ordering every baby boy born to an Israelite's family to be drowned in the Nile River. Now, it happened that a baby boy was born to an Israelite family. Fearing Pharaoh's decree, the mother hid the boy for months. But when he began to cry and move about, she had to do something to save him. She decided to make a large basket out of the reeds that grew near the river. She sealed it with sticky tar so it would float. Then she put the baby in the basket and set it among the reeds along the river banks. His sister Miriam stood at a distance to watch over the baby. That evening, Pharaoh's daughter went down to the river to bath. It was then she noticed the strange basket floating among the reeds. Fetch that basket, she said to her servant girl. When she opened the basket and saw the little baby boy, she loved him. Then Miriam came forth and said, Would you like for me to get an Israelite woman? To take care of the baby? Yes, I would, said the princess. So Miriam went back to get her mother and told her the things that had happened. Take care of this baby and bring him back to me when he is old, the princess said. When the child grew older, his mother took him to Pharaoh's place. Back to the princess, and he became her son. The princess named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. Today's affirmation, God will keep me safe. Say it with me again, kids. God will keep me safe. 